Hello? Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Yes, I'm Muslim, and you would always spread lies about uh, everything to do with us. Because, and you say Quran, Quran is fake, book is, uh, but your book is full of stupidity too. Oh, okay. So, okay, let us, let us focus one by one. And you know what? I also, let, my friend, let us focus one by one. Say, let us focus Jesus, one by one. Why yeah. Jesus don't know? <laughs> Jesus don't even know the hour. Yeah, that's funny, my friend. This is really funny. So why why Sheikh why Sheikh Amran why Sheikh Amran he says that Jesus he knew the hour? Do you know? Do I care about who is this uh, Sheikh Imran? Okay. I don't what about will that, don't but no Sheikh Uthman uh, Sheikh Amran he says this is what the Quran is saying. That's not well, my problem. He is the one who knows the hour. The Quran says that. I just want to know what's going to happen when Allah cast you to the hellfire. Okay, let us see what will happen. Because First of all, do your God, Allah, know the hour? My God know the hour. He don't okay. have to tell you. Well, can you, can you read for me the chapter? Can you read for me? Can you read for me the chapter of the moon, verse number one? You have it on screen? Yeah, here Show we me. go. Mm. Hold on. I'll read for you. Mm. You're, you're just a monkey, man. You can insult me as much as you want, but you will not be able to answer. People will laugh. Read. Do your God, Allah, know the hour? I see uh, B and he was. No, yeah. no, no, you will see. It's chapter of the moon. You can search it in your phone or your computer. Chapter 54, verse number one. Let me. Hmm. I have to bring my own site because you put fake. Yeah, I put fake. You know, Muslim websites are fake websites. I agree. What is the website you open? I can put it for you on screen. Now I see hour is draw near and moon is square. Uh huh. So what, what Allah he said? <clears throat> this he say when the hour is gonna come, the moon is gonna split. Mm, and if they see a sign, they turn away and say an incessant magic. They deny and follow their own desire, and every mother has setting appropriate. To it. So uh, okay. So so what 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 will happen here? We have somebody he claimed to be God, claiming that the sign the sign of the judgment day is what is the moon splitting. Is that correct? Yes, but there are many other signs that the great... No problem, but here we go. Uh, my, my friend, your, your, your uh, God here, you your God here. One by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. So by one. many. Do, 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 you, do, you, do, you, do you speak Arabic? It says here, اقتربت الساعة اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر. اقتربت is mean it's almost there, very near, you know? Almost there. So, and you're a prophet, he says, you, Sheikh Isa. Isa is almost coming down on you. Almost coming here. Is that correct? So you're a prophet. He was speaking about that judgment day will happen in his lifetime, and the sign of the judgment day starting is the moon splitting. How you explain to us such a stupid thing? You know, a lot of people, the Christian, they always they, they try to say like, uh, actually, okay, Muhammad, he said uh, there is a boy, he gonna get old, and then. But already it has been refused. My friend, like, uh, we'll have a topic. Please focus with me. How your God, he claimed that the sign of the judgment day is the split of the moon and nothing happened. Maybe that split not happened yet. Clearly not happened yet. So the, the, right? moon, the, so the moon is splitting did not happen yet? Not the one for the hour. Oh, because, so, so, uh, the, so this one here, Muhammad okay, so the one, so the one, okay, let us make it clear. The one in front of us, chapter 54, verse number one, this is about something will happen in the future, not something happened already in the time of Muhammad. I'm not sure. I don't know. Why, read, it, read, it, read it and tell me, give me your answer. I want an answer. Go ahead. Well, it looked like it says the hour draw near, so maybe he thought this to me, it looks like it's talking about current time, current mm -hmm. time. But we know that uh, this is not like one year, two years, three years, four years. 
you cannot decide like what is eternity, what is not eternity level. Quran and, and Muhammad, they don't have to tell how many years. It can be 500, 5,000 years. Mm. Uh, it's a small time to Allah, you understand? Okay. So very, yeah, it's very... a small time for Allah. But as you see here, the moon is split already. As what? As a sign of judgment day. It's a warning. So if it's going to be 10,000 years from now, so what's the point of the sign? The point of the... Probably maybe what it's trying to say is um, there will be some big cataclysm with the moon okay. in the time, in the judgment time. Uh, I, will, I will help you more. I will help you more. So I will help you more to understand what's happening. Do you see my screen now? I still see uh, uh, chapter five. Okay, chapter, read with me. Read, read with me this hadith. I, I will show you many of them. You know, let us see this one. Read this one for me. <clears throat> Can you read it? Which one you saw? If this young boy live, he may not grow very old till mm. he would see the last hour coming here. Mm. An asterisk. Okay. Okay. So, so why you showed me this? He would not grow very old. Okay. So Muhammad, there is a group of people in front of him, and one of them is a young boy. He said to them, This boy he will not grow old before the hour, which means the judgment they will come. And where this hadith is uh, This is the this is the hadith. Can you show me? Is it Daif? I don't even know if it's Daif. It's Daif, I think. What do you think? Do you think is this Hadith is strong or Daif? I think it's maybe maybe it's Hassan. It's Hassan. Hadith. No. Yeah. Well, no. Maybe. This is uh, this is Sahih actually. This is Sahih Muslim. So what we will do now? So when you say to me, I well, ask, has Anas I... ever reported incorrect thing before? Huh? Has An Anas ever report incorrect thing before? Anas, he did he report any correct things before? Well, I don't think so because all, I believe all Muslims they never report anything is correct, including Muhammad. So don't ask me about how Muslims if they are true witnesses or not, because I believe all of them they lie to us about what their prophet do and what he said. But this is your problem, not my problem. This is Sahih Muslim, and the Hadith here is so clear that this young boy he will never grow old until the day of judgment will come. So let us say. He will not become 40 years old because haram, haram, it can be even 30, 30 something, 35. So before he becomes 35, 40, judgment day will come. And why do you think uh, Rasulullah tell that? Because if you say and it's a lie, why he would lie? Well, because, he's, he a, would because, lie because he's a false prophet. So he just trying to scare everybody to, to follow his word? It don't make sense. Well, it does not make sense to make a prophecy. He do not know. You know, he, he says uh, by the time they will find out, he will be dead anyway. <laughs> this is the child for sure. He will live way more than Muhammad. You know, I mean, Muhammad at that time he's already in 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 his sixty almost. So uh, and this child will never become before you come old. You know, and then the Muslims they try to fix it. They say, oh, no, this is not about the hour. Uh, this is about uh, those people will die. They will die. It says the hour, a sir. And maybe they're correct because uh, he doesn't say like, okay, it's last hour for all it says, mankind. It says, it says, Hatta Here we go. The Arabic is so clear. They try to fix it by their lies. Hatta Tahumusa. You go and search right away where the word sir. The second you say the word sir, especially when you say a sir. Tahumusa, Tahum il Qiyama. Sir is the hour. I mean, okay. You need when you get more clear. Taqum al-Sa'a. Taqum coming from Qiyama. And Sa'a is the hour. Well, very simple. So when you when your Muslim try to fix it, they make it a blind.
So, so how you can explain that Jesus don't know the hour? You see, you see, you now you are trying to change topic. First of all, you know, uh, when Muslim he answered a question, right away he tried to divert any topic about Muhammad. So, do you agree with me first now that Muhammad here obviously he do not know the hour and is a liar, and his God is not a God? No, I just think this report is uh, is uh, not even it says Sahih doesn't mean it's what actually happened because I don't I go by Quran I don't care about. Well, I just showed you the Quran. It says the and you said to me that the moon splitting will happen in the future, correct? Yeah, and there is no. Yeah, but no, you see, but you, but you Muslims, you, you Muslim, you have a stories in the Hadith about the moon split already, and even the Quran says. It's in the past tense. It's the past tense. And the moon is split. Not will split. The moon is a split. Do you see it? It's your translation. A split, I think maybe he's talking about eclipse. Okay. And, uh, so your prophet, you are saying to us now that your prophet, when he say split, he means the eclipse. So how that is a sign of the hour? Eclipse happen every day. I mean, my uh, prophet predicts always. exactly who will die after him in the order. Our friend, this is after him. This is 200 years. This is 200 years. Hadith written by Muslims, and already we know who died and who was, you know. Can you show me that in the Quran? Even Muhammad, he says, I know nothing about the future. Jesus is the only one who knows. That's what the Quran says. You just try to twist. I'm not twisting. Uh, this is this is this is this is, this is what the, this is what the Quran. Trump this is, is what the Quran because says, my friend. Does the Quran says that Muhammad he said? I know nothing. Does the Quran says what? I know nothing of the treasure of Allah. Does the Muhammad says that? In the same time, the Quran says that Jesus he knew the unseen. He can tell you even what you had in your houses. Oh, this is about seeing the NC. Jesus was crazy man walking around, people, it, uh, and nobody witnessed his resurrection. Only some. Okay, so you are naive, saying to me like now, women, Jesus, okay. So, and, uh, you're, so you are saying to hold on, hold there on. There's no written hold person, okay, no okay. person wrote like, or, no reliable person, no, hmm. no like Romans, nobody wrote like, okay, we, we saw, we put Jesus in crucifix, then. Three days later, uh, we saw him. It's only just some women, some uh, unbelievable like his apostle who are already mm. following his crazy cult. Mm. And you call Islam a cult, but we okay. have much more evidence. Maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe Muhammad. Uh, okay, we will go with you. Listen, listen. You are, you, are, you, are, you are jumping. Uh, you are jumping from place to place. Let me show you how stupid what you just said. So you said nobody saw Jesus, right, in the cross, correct? Nobody reliable saw the Jesus. Okay, uh, is, they saw is, him on the is, cross, but okay. they did not is, see him is, religion. Allah today, is Allah reliable for you? Is, is, Allah re is Allah reliable for you? Allah is, of course, is reliable. Okay, so Allah is, okay uh, that means you are, a, you are a foolish man. You just insulted Allah. Because you said nobody saw there is reliable, and now that means whatever the Quran says, it's a lie. Because the Quran says, read me carefully, chapter 4, verse 157. They crucified him not, which means for sure, but Allah made it appear to them. And the Jews, they said, we killed him. So how many people witness all the Jews? And what the Jews, they say, we killed him. Allah, he confirmed that what the Jews say is true, but Allah, he made it appear to them. But I said it's about listen, reason, listen. You not said, about who. You said there's no witnesses. You said there's no somebody trustworthy. But the Quran says the opposite. In Quran, we don't believe that. Uh, we believe Jesus. Maybe they saw Simon. Maybe they saw. My friend, uh, uh, no uh, one answer, knows what answer the Quran. Do. Don't answer okay. the questions now. Answer the Quran. When the Quran says that you, as a Muslim, you should believe that the one who was in the cross, he appeared to the what Jews Simon? to be killed. He appeared. Simon. He appeared to the Jews to be killed. You said Simon. Yeah, maybe it's Simon. Okay, Mr. Uh, the, the, religion, the religion of maybe. When you say to me, maybe, uh, uh, you, you, you follow the God, Mr. Maybe, or you follow God? I follow God. Okay. I follow Allah. Where Allah, he says to you that Allah, he replaced Jesus by someone else. Can you show me? 
No, I cannot show you. Okay, but so, we know so that hold on, in hold on, Quran wait, doesn't wait, have no, to explain it. But, but just wait, just wait. Detail. So you Muslims, you believe in fiction stories. So you Muslims, you say uh, God, he cloned someone, making look him look Jesus. Where you get the story from? Did your prophet say that? Many sheikh believe this. Many sheikh. Yeah, many sheikh because, because, they, are shake because, because they are potatoes and you are a potato too. Because I'm asking you now, look look at this potato cult. I ask you where this story came from. You say many sheikh believe in that. So shouldn't the sheikh, they follow their prophet? Shouldn't the sheikh, they follow the Quran? So if the Quran never said so, why you must fabricate stories? There is not one single fabricate story. In okay, so you just said to me, many, many you just said to me, you just showed, you just say, you just say, my friend, you just say, we don't have <laughs> this story, yeah. is not exist in our religion, this is a fabrication. Then, did your God say to you that He replaced someone instead of Jesus? All he says is they didn't crucify the actual Jesus. No, actually, He said, He said they crucify Him, look, because look what happened. He says, the Jews they say we killed Him. Allah, he says, we, you know, crucified him not, who the Messiah, how, how that happened? He made it appear to them, which means crucifixion happened, to appear to them. So the Jews, they were practicing crucifixion of Jesus. Yeah, maybe Simon or maybe uh, See, now, illusion. So now you are, trying to, you are trying to fix the stupidity of this verse. You are trying to, to, to go by maybe. So this is a religion of Mr. B, maybe. Maybe you are talking about Jesus' crucifixion. Was he or was not? Your whole religion is a maybe, man. Your how, whole religion. How, how? No, is no, no. The Bible confirmed that Jesus was crucified. The Bible confirmed that Jesus was resurrected. The Quran himself itself says that G, the, the, the Jews they say we killed him. So the Jews they confirmed the death. And actually, I just played the, the video of Sheikh Amran saying, if we were to there. We will have the same conclusion. What conclusion? That the Messiah was a crucified. The video in front of your eyes. If we, if we can, were can there, deceive whoever. Shake, Allah shake, can deceive your shake, your shake. If he said, if we we are there, if we were there, we as a Muslim, not me as a Christian. If, if, we were not, there, if you and I were there, huh? we would also come to the conclusion. We are going died. to get the same conclusion that he died. So the Jews, they get conclusion of something happened for real. Because this is a true conclusion. The Quran, but you highlighted the Quran, the, made to the Quran, appear. The Quran can claim, appear. Listen. You the, can appear anything. No, okay, no, hold on. The the Jews Okay, hold on. Who is the one Allah. who is the one Allah who made it who is the one who made it appear to them? Allah. Okay. So did Allah lie to them? Allah lied to who? To the Jews. To because the Jews? he made it he made them see it was Jesus. Yes, because they're trying to kill. Okay, so they Allah, so kill. Allah, okay, so Allah, you know, Allah hold, hold on. you know what you just said? You, 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 do you notice what you just said? I said to you, did Allah lie to them? He said, yes, because the Jews trying to kill him. So Allah, in order to save somebody, he have to lie. He tricked them because he cannot change their heart. It's hardened. Yeah, but by lying, correct? Is it by lying? It's not like he got someone to come tell a lie. It's he a lie because this is a lie. And I tell a lie. This is bigger than a lie. This is the biggest lie in history. If this is true, because because there's a, there's almost three billion a human being. They believe now that Jesus was crucified. So if this is a, was a lie, and who is the one who caused the lie to happen? Is Allah. So Allah is the best of the deceivers. Is Satan. Who is the one who made the Christian believe in Jesus' crucifixion? Who is the one? Who is the one behind? Who is the one behind Jesus was in the cross story? Is it the Christian or Allah? Based on this story here. Can you repeat it again? Sorry. This when, when the Christian they believe that Jesus was in the cross, and Allah is the one who made Jesus appear to be in the cross. Is it the fault of the Christian to believe in it, or the fault of Allah who made it appear? It is the the result of Allah make it appear because He saved okay. Isa. So your God Allah is the, the one who deceived us and lied to us. So your God Allah. We know Isa yeah. was the most righteous. Okay, who, who was the one? Let me ask you. Who is the one who will get the benefit of making Jesus uh, or making people believe that Jesus died in the cross? Can you give me who is the one who will get the benefit of that? Such a belief. Is that Allah or Shaitan? If somebody believed that Isa, Jesus, Isa if, if somebody believed in Jesus in the cross, listen carefully to the question. If Jesus, if, if people believe that Jesus died in the cross, who is the one going to get the benefit of this story? Allah or Satan? 
I don't see how shaitan is going to benefit. Why are you asking this question? Okay, so... How shaitan benefit anything? Okay, I thought shaitan benefit from lies. Well, according to you, shaitan work for Allah. So he do whatever uh, It's, it's not according to me. It's not according to me. The Quran says so. Are you against the Quran now? There is no verse in Quran says, oh, shaitan does... Okay, uh, let us go Allah and see. Let us go and see. Quran. I think you're just making my, my friend, my friend. Let us see. People will laugh in a you're second. You're always telling lies about okay, Islam. Okay, we, we, we will see. We will see. Yeah, no, uh, hold on, Abdul. Come on, take it easy. You know. Okay, listen. Here we go. This is the Quran. Let me, Abdul, let me let me put the let me put the verse for I'm you. I'm not even. And then everybody I'm everybody Muslim. will laugh. Everybody will laugh. Here we go. The Quran says that Shaitan he was deceived by Allah. Do you agree? Shaitan deceived by Allah. Yeah, yeah and, he, sure. and he is Where okay. Sure, he said, guys, did you hear it? He says, sure. Okay. So Allah, why he, are you not gonna deceive Shaitan? Shaitan Allah, Allah, he deceived Shaitan Allah to become. Plan. The, you cannot uh, try okay. to understand all Allah's okay, plans. But, but by deceiving him, he became a what? A believer? A good person or a bad person? Who Shaitan? When Allah, he decided to deceive Shaitan. What is the purpose of deceiving him? I don't know, but Shaitan, we don't care about if Shaitan... Why you don't care for him? He's your cousin. <laughs> Shaitan used to be angel, now he's a jinn. Not no, my cousin. This is, in, is, in Islam, you are obviously, obviously you are ignorant. In Islam, Shaitan is not, a, is not an angel. He's a genie. He used to be angel. No, where See, you, I saw where, you trick all my where brothers. Where you got this from? You said, oh, he tried to bow down. But where, where you got this from? What, where you got, why where, the cat where meow, you got and your the info? Barks. Where you got your but info? You know, we understand that uh, he used to be angel, then he... Okay, listen, to... listen. Where it says that Jibri, uh, sorry, uh, Shaitan used to be an angel? Well, it is implied that he did not, he, he did not bow down to mm. Adam. Uh -huh. And then when he become banished to, to earth, he is a jinn. He become uh -huh. jinn. Oh, so in the heaven he was angel, and then Allah... He made him a, a genie when he came to the earth. Yes. Uh, this is a, it like sound like a transgender story. No, this is not a true. There's nowhere in the Quran it says that. You are a, <laughs> you are a foolish man. Yeah. But Allah can do that. You don't understand. But what you are Allah making things up. Is. Okay, can you show me a reference? Go ahead. I'm listening. Show your reference for what? That Allah, he show made him, made him Allah, that he was an angel. Can you show me where it says he was an angel? He was an can angel, you show me? Can you show me a reference that uh, you tell everyone, oh, Muhammad, he raped this one, he raped Sa Safiya, he raped everyone. Sure, I can but show you. No why not? For, for sure. Say, oh, sure, I can show you a reference. No problem. But why oh, you are changing topic? Why are you are changing topic? Says, uh, I will show you a reference. No problem. I will show you about no, Safiya. My point is, you know why I don't need to show you a reference? Because sometimes uh, you don't have a reference. So okay. why I need to give you yeah, a Challenge me for a reference. Go ahead. Make a challenge. Show me. Uh, show me. What? You like to tell everyone on here you deceive, tell lies about Islam and say, hmm. oh, um, Muhammad, he raped many women, uh, you know, and you, okay, I will give you maybe, because we cannot prove Aisha understand what is intercourse at uh, nine year old. Hmm. So maybe, maybe, but also that is uh, ancient time, brother. It's like 700, 600. Six, uh, six hundred, six, seventh century. So mm. time is a little bit different. But you try to say like, oh, Muhammad, he raped, he raped, uh, he raped Safiya. Okay. So do you want me to show you that uh, Muhammad he raped Safiya now? What do you want? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what you want. You do not. I guarantee you can. You can only prove some. Uh, you cannot prove it in writing. Nobody gonna. Anyways, nobody gonna write. Oh yeah, the Muhammad okay. he raped. So her, in the front. Okay. So in the front of her. everybody, if I show you the reference and you, I made you read it yourself. What you would do? If you show me a reference, what about you gonna show me that about Muhammad? Something, about you're gonna Muhammad raping about Muhammad raping Safiya, and not only Muhammad, the Muslim they raped Safiya too. Maybe the, the other Muslim dude, but Muhammad, he is not going to do Okay, did Muhammad, so... Muhammad uh, okay, is my friend, okay, my, my friend, my friend, no problem. You don't no, understand. No problem, no problem. So you're Muslim. You said, you said, I cannot give you a reference. I want you to make me, a, uh, give me a promise. 
If I give you a reference right now and make you read it in front of you in the screen, are you willing to apologize for being a donkey? <laughs> uh, okay, I will. I will apologize, donkey. But I will also take it to. Probably, I will have to take for more interpretation maybe Sheikh Osman or uh, Hamza Den or something because uh, okay I have, an, I, I have an offer for you I have an offer for you why you don't call those you call them Sheikh they are potatoes they don't dare even to speak to me call them right now and let them join the conversation well I don't have their phone number they're a very big person I'm just... they are a very big person you can see them in the street they are potatoes you know this guy you know he, he, he sells tomato, tomato sauce what do you mean big person who are they they don't even have a school. Who sell tomatoes, sir? What, what, uh, what uh, big person? Who are they? I mean, who, they are nobody. What do you mean big person? What no, do you mean they Sheikh are big Uthman person? Convert, con you don't like Sheikh Uthman because... Our friend, I like him very much. Many okay, my, my friend. Many Sheikh, Sheikh, Uthman, Sheikh Uthman is the one who said that Muhammad was a pagan. Don't you know? Here we go. I can play the video for you. He was it's a pagan before. Okay, so Muhammad was pagan. Okay, so, so Sheikh Uthman, he admit that Muhammad was pagan for 40 years of his life, correct? Yes, because okay. he did not know the right. truth. So he Muhammad was understand. worshipping, no. oh, so Muhammad, you just said yes, and you agree with Sheikh Uthman, that Muhammad, he was worshipping Adel for 40 years. How he worshipped well, idols? Actually, he, there he, is no reference he, he to bought, prove he who he down to them. No, no, you are the one who mentioned Sheikh Uthman. Sheikh Uthman, he agree that Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Yes, he doesn't know who Gabriel know is, right? He because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people we don't know. He is not Abrahamic. He did not come from Abrahamic faith. This is what Sheikh Uthman said. And this guy is not a Sheikh, he's a potato. He's a coward. So listen what happened now. He is a Sheikh. Listen, 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 listen what happened. If Muhammad was not Abrahamic, he he become later Abrahamic? Yes. Okay. Because Gabriel yes. visit him. And Thank you. Then Thank you. You see, people will laugh at you and will laugh at Sheikh Uthman. That's mean Muhammad is not from Ishmael. Because if you become later Abrahamic, Abrahamic means to be from the children of Abraham. So Muhammad, when Muslim they lie to us, oh, shut up, shut up. People are laughing. Why, Listen, hold on, hold on, look what happened to you now. So Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Muhammad is not Abrahamic. So Muhammad is a fraud. He did not, he is not from Ishmael. Because you just admitted, that you agree with Sheikh Uthman that he is not Abrahamic and he is not from the Abrahamic faith. So he has nothing to do with Abraham. So he is not from the children of Abraham. So you Muslim, you lie. When you claim hold on, hold that on, you are, you, you Muhammad because is how he cannot be. How is that any proof that he is not related to to uh, Ishmael? Because you don't, you can lose Abrahamic way along the. Because how how many thousand years ago is Ishmael? Maybe the Bedouin Bedouin is not, don't have to. My friend, doesn't matter. Uh, I don't, I don't care now. You see, you 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 yourself, you confess now that Muhammad is not from Abraham. So you Muslim, you lie to us, and Muhammad is a liar when he claimed that he is from Abraham and he is from the children of... Genealogy-wise, if it's for his gene, genetic, he is from Ishmael. But you but just, but, but but you just to, said, but you just said he is not Abrahamic. You just, you just Kaaba. said, okay, what, what is gene, what is gene, okay, 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 okay. Let, then let me ask you, let, let me ask you, let me ask you. And they changed Kaaba to okay. be, to be uh, non-Abrahamic with idols, and that is why... Rasulullah went Muhammad. and change all, destroy all of those uh, idols. Muhammad, because Muhammad, 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 he didn't know Muhammad. it's not his fault he is born uh. outside of Ibn, and that is why we said everything correct. Okay, Muhammad, with, uh, Muhammad, listen Jibreel. carefully. I want, I want you to focus with me. I want you to focus with me. Fine, I focus. Did, did, tell me did, did the Quran confirm that Ishmael, he went to Mecca? Yes. Okay. You agree, right? That Ishmael and Abraham, they were there. Yes. And so, they who, built Kaaba. so who was the first messenger who was sent to Mecca? Abraham and Ishmael, correct? Yes, that's okay. correct. Thank you. Yes. So how you explain to me Muhammad saying that before Muhammad, there was nobody, nobody came to, to Mecca? What do you mean? He said nobody. What do you mean? The Quran Mecca. says, that there's nobody came to Mecca before. There's no messenger. And I cannot remember where it is written that Ishmael came to build the uh, I will show Kaaba. you, no problem. I remember you don't he remember. Did. You don't remember, I do, okay? Here we go. This is your prophet.
my prophet who predicted the chapter he, he predict all the building in uh, uh, yeah, yeah he predict so, yeah we will see that people are laughing so uh, did anyone came to mecca before i see arabic i cannot read it mm. you're showing arabic text. read the chapter 34 verse number 44. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, I read Yusuf Ali. Mm. But we had not given them books which they could study, nor sent messenger to them before the as warners. <laughs> so, how Abraham? How Abraham was there and Ishmael, I ask you, everybody my witness, I ask you, was Abraham and Ishmael there? They came to Mecca, you said yes? Well, they built Kaaba, but uh, they did not have book or scripture to spread to the people. No, and that, also, no, I don't think no they have books. They have Kaaba. books. No, they have books. Here we go. This is your Quran. Say, Suhafu Ibrahim and Musa. So, Abraham, he have a book. Here we go. Read it. This is your book. You are just trying to duct tape your stupid prophet. Chapter 87, verse number 19. The scriptures of Ibrahim and the scriptures of Musa. Suhaf is even pages, is books. So how, how Abraham, he came to Mecca, and with him is Ishmael. And the, the other verse in the Quran says, well, Muhammad, he was the first one sent here. And before you, nobody gave them books or scriptures or no messengers came to. You see the stupidity? Maybe they did not come to be messenger, but they came only to construct. No, the Quran says that Abraham, he said to his people, what are you talking about? Come on, my friend. He spoke, you know, he, he, he built the Kaaba, he have his children's, you know, he have his children's, and he taught his children's. So Abraham, he did not speak to his people. That would be funny. So when the Muslim, they claim that Muhammad is a prophet, he went to Mecca, and uh, Abraham was there, and he is the one who built the Kaaba, and he's Allah, he sent him, and he, you know, he gave him books, as you see. And then we find that the Quran says there is no books was given to people of Mecca. And they never have any messenger before Muhammad. Muhammad is the first one. And this is again so chapter, you, again chapter 87, I verse number 8. Whole, whole, uh, chapter because read it, no problem, read it, you know, read it. Okay, chapter 87, my friend, chapter 87, verse number 19. And the other chapter here. Is a chapter 34, verse number 44. Muhammad is a fraud. 44. 44. Let me read. I already read this one. You and their predecessors rejected the truth. See? So he was there. The predecessor rejected the truth. Hmm. They had not received the tenth of what we had granted to those yet. When my friend, they yeah, my so what's saying? What's saying? Hold on, this is even more stupid because the one before them refused the truth, but he just told them we never gave them the truth before. I think you are not interpreting correctly. Because, my friend, you can open uh, any interpretation you want. Muhammad, it says here, thought we did not give them any scriptures that they might have to study, nor we did send them any war nor before you. Never, never. So, so what does Ibn Kathir say about this? Because Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir says, Ibn Kathir knows says, a lot more than, uh, some okay, if I, so, so, uh, so listen, listen now. If I show you Ibn Kathir, are you going to cry and you say, I don't accept Ibn Kathir or do you accept Ibn Kathir? I accept Ibn Kathir, I, I accept uh, maybe Ibn Abbas interpretation. Okay, okay let, let, let us listen to this. So the Quran says it clearly that we never send a warner to them before you. Who is the one can explain that? Is Ibn Kathir. He's talking about hold on, 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 hold on. He's saying like uh, in Muhammad's lifetime, he did not send it. It's hold not like, oh, I didn't send it a thousand so years So even before. this one is confusing to the about? Abdul. Even this one, he can't explain it. Even this one is Ibn Kathir. Why Ibn Kathir, he have extra information? Ibn Kathir is a good source of information. Well, isn't but, Ibn uh, Kathir? Is it Ibn Kathir the same person who says that the sperm is coming from the the ribs of the women? Do you accept him now? He didn't say ribs of the women. He said he that, said and he agreed with the Quran. The Quran says. And the, ribs, the Quran, and if you look at 
you know, testicle is in front of the backbone. You're not, you're just going the testicles for testicles are in the front of the backbone. When the last time you look at your testicle, my friend? Do you have any? <laughs> of course, it's called I the backbone. It. I mean, it's in the back. It's, it's in your, the, it's in your my friend, my friend. You put the Christian my, my, together, my, 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 all my friend. Is smaller you, than you, you Muslims, you Muslims, your, Muhammad, your anus, uh, your backbone extends beyond, beyond your anus? I mean, what do you mean? What are you talking about? You have your anus, no, the okay, end, the end of the backbone is your anus. Hello, there's a hole there. Abdul, listen carefully. And then the, the testicles are in the front. Yes, in the front. Okay, so now, but, okay, uh, we will, we will go the there and we will laugh. We will go there and we will laugh. And actually, do you want to show you right now about the big theory? You will die laughing. You will say, I don't accept him. Do you want to show you? I will accept Ibn Kathir. Why you always say, oh, you won't accept, you won't accept? I because you will not. Okay, let, us, let us make an experiment. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. I will put it for you on the screen. In two seconds, you will say, I don't accept Ibn Kathir. This is not true. Just wait. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Read for me. I will put it for you on the screen. And you, you know, people would die laughing. Why right you now. never call the Sheikh? Why you never give call me their, the, the Give me their Osman number. The, give me their Hamza. Skype to call them. Here we go. Just name the Sheikh for me. Tell me he is willing to call you and talk to you. I will call him right now. As Sheikh you speak Osman. with him. Call Sheikh Osman. Give me his Skype. Call. Okay, give me his Skype. Stop, stop Skype. crying. How am I going to call him? My friend, stop crying. Bring your... You pick on bring people your stuff, not study bring, like Bring you. this potato. But, but my friend, he is the one. You have to he, stop, 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 job, stop. You're he, gonna get by. he ran away. I, I called him too. Seven times he hung up on me in less than five minutes. Go watch it. It's in, in YouTube. The coward, he ran away. That's he did not even let me ask any ago. question. Why you not do it now? Do it. It's like uh, I can do it. I can do it any time. You know, he hung up on me. The coward, he did not let me talk. He, he called me names. So, my friend, all of you, all of you are a bunch are of potatoes. My uh, Skype is open. Listen, listen, listen. You were able to call me so easy, correct? So why they cannot? Give me their Skype. So I will I call them. Shut up. Listen, listen, listen. Read with me. Read with me. Read. Read with me. Read with me. Ibn Kathir says meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is referring to her chest. You said this is not true, and this is Ibn Kathir, and you said you accept Ibn Kathir. According to Ibn Kathir, women, they have a sperm, sexual fluid, coming from their, the, the location of the necklace, actually, not only the chest. And you said you will accept whatever Ibn Kathir is saying. Read it. Do you accept now? Hold on, your screen not showing. It says, uh, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. Shabib bin Bihir reported from Ikrima, who narrated from Ibn Abbas that he said, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. What he's talking about? The, maybe he's talking about uh, uh, sexual fluid that is from breast, right? <laughs> that is uh, milk. They are talking about intercourse. Fluid. Intercourse, when you Muslims, when you have sex with your wife, your wife are different from the rest of, of mankind. Your wife, only Muslim wives, they have sexual fluid coming from their chest. Is that true? And what year? What so year? According to, according to Muslims, breast. only Muslim women, they have a breast testicles. Your wife, she, are you married? Your wife, she have a breast testicles. She don't have boobs. She have breast testicles. Read it. It says it clearly, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, between bracket, a fluid. The women of the, the fluid of the women is yellow, fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them, i.e., their sexual fluid. So, what make the child? There's a sexual fluid come from the women ribs, and there's sexual fluid come from the backbone of the man. And the Where child. Where does this narration come from? Who are they quoting in the narration? You said Ibn Kathir, you accept Ibn Kathir, and you said to me you will not accept Ibn Kathir. I said to you, you will not accept Ibn Kathir in two seconds. You will say, why you are saying that? <laughs> I will accept Ibn Kathir. So now you are questioning who, where he comes from. I just, I'm not uh, saying I don't accept. I just want to understand. Okay, so do you I'm accept, do you accept that your God, Allah, he is saying the truth that sperm of the man coming from the backbone. There's no testicles. May Allah bless your testicles. And women, no, she have testicles in there. Allah maybe and, said and that, Allah. but not, not Allah. Well, this, no, this is the Quran. Ibn Abdul, you are the one who said to me, I accepted Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is explaining the Quran. Which Quran verse this one is? Do you mean which Quran verse? I mean, Yukhruju min bayn yusulbi wa taraib. This is chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. Okay, let me check my actual website. Chapter, oh, which one? Chapter 86? 86, verse number 6 and 7. You can read the whole chapter. I mean, the whole chapter is few verses. Very funny. 
Let me see. see. I can't follow. Let me see. Oh, he was created from the fluid, and everything's from between the backbone and the ribs. And this one, who is talking about here? Well, he's talking about the breast testicles. So you Muslim, you Muslim females, I'm not trying to make fun by the way, but this is what Quran saying. So Muslim women, they are the only one, their boobs are not boobs, they are testicles. They are round, yes. They have nipple, yes. But reality is, according to the Quran, those are not boobs, those are testicles. So you Muhammad, and you are married to men. You're not married to women. They don't have boobs. Christian women, they have breasts. Muslim women, they don't. This I saw actually I'm looking at diagram right now. Oh. Semen semen vesicle is between backbone and the ribs. Testicle is lower, but seminal vesicle. My friend, this is, is talking about two individuals, not one person. One is the man and one is the woman. I remember you are the one who said to me, Why you are saying I want to accept the <laughs> Why you are saying this is Nikathir? It's it's your shake, the one you like. We just gave him a call, he answered. The only religion who tell the truth about women, it's Islam. I told many people, don't marry, don't get married. Those women are, they are men, they have breast testicles. You know, you will see a guy like he is excited, he wanna take his wife to the bedroom, and now she is taking off her bra, like, like what the heck? Those are testicles, you idiot. They are not breast. They were created from a spritting fluid stemming from between the backbone and the rib cage. Mm. I need, I, you know what? I'm gonna open my Quran because you, you show on website. I'm gonna look. Give me one second. Mm. And what's your point? Okay, so maybe. What do you mean? What's my point? I, all that conversation until now, you did not get my point. Your prophet is a liar. This is Quran. This is Allah speaking. Who is the God who will believe? That women, they have a breast testicles and their sexual fluid coming from their nipples. Do Muslim women have orgasm from their nipples? Why you say this? this. So what's your point? Like what, Here what's we your... go again. What's your point? You know that dude, when he is dizzy, he just say a word from his mouth just to uh, say anything. You know? What do you mean, what's your point? I just told you, you just gave me that question again and again. What's your point? I, let me repeat, your stupid God, he cannot be God because he thinks that women, they have sexual fluid coming from their ribs. This is stupid. How God he say that? What kind of God he say that? Even Shushu Mumu, God did not say that. I mean, the Shish, shish Kebabs did not say that. Even Mr. Donkey did not say that. I mean, how stupid this God is? He's trying, now Muhammad suddenly he became professor in physiology and biology. And Allah is the one who taught him. And then we look, this is stupid, this is very Let me dummy. read, hold on, let, let me read whole, all, whole Surah 86. Give me one second. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, by hmm. the sky and the night visitant therein. Uh -huh. And what will explain to you what the night visitant is? It is the star of piercing brightness. There is no soul but has protected over it. So he's talking about star. He's talking about night visitant. Well, this is how stupid your prophet is. I mean, what the stars have well, to do with the nipples so now? You see, you're a prophet. You're a prophet. You're a prophet is disconnected man. He is suffering from the flight of thought. So what the stars have to do with the nipples and testicles? Listen, let me read, okay? Can you let me? You're reading. I mean, no I'm soul. asking you a question. I'm there asking you a question. No soul. Okay, but what I'm the not stars? Finished. What the stars? What is the connection? What is Why the, con always add on what is the connection, my friend? What is the connection between stars and testicles? He is talking about star piercing brightness. So, what does this have to do with the topic after it? Why he start talking about testicles? Now, let man but think from what he has created. Hmm. He is created from a drop emitted, oh. proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Oh. Surely Allah is able to bring him back to life. Oh. The day that all hidden things shall be made manifest, okay. man will have no power and no helper. Hmm. By the firmament which returns 
in its round and by the earth which opens out for the mm. gushing of springs or the sprouting of vegetation. Okay. Behold, this is the world that distinguishes good from evil. It is not a thing for amusement. As for them, they are but plotting a scheme and I am planning a scheme. Therefore, grant a delay to the unbelievers. Give respite to them gently. So this is unambiguous. This is ambiguous verse. You understand that? Ambiguous, ambiguous. Uh, you uh, don't know that Allah put... Let me ask you. So how it's ambiguous, literal. how it is ambiguous, and Ibn Kathir is giving it interpretation. It says here, you don't need interpretation. It's in the, he's not Abdul, interpreting the word You are the, the one who of... said, why you are laughing when I say to you, I accept Ibn Kathir. You, remember, you forgot? I accept Ibn Kathir. Okay, so then accept Ibn Kathir and stop playing games. Okay, my friend. Interpretation, okay. Okay. because this is an ambiguous verse. It's it's not in a big OS because he have explanation for it. <laughs> How it's ambiguous, Mister Ambiguous, and you give it interpretation. I mean, what's wrong with those Muhammadan? Why you call us Muhammadan? Because you're a we Muhammadan. Believe, you follow Muslim Muhammad. Because you don't follow you, Allah. You believe in baby who uh, gets his diaper changed. Well, okay, uh, <laughs> you, it's you who believe in a baby who have no diaper according to the Quran. Jesus in the cradle, he speak as adult, mature. So you are accusing your God, Allah, of being a liar. Muhammad, he was forty years as a pagan, as Sheikh Uthman Potato said, the tomato sauce guy, and you agreed. So Jesus, he did, never was and never be okay, a I, person. I need to research this. I, I will apologize. I, uh, I, I don't have adequate explanation for it. Okay, but I, I, I made a condition for you. I said, if I show you, you would agree that you're a donkey.